The second generation GMC Acadia is a major reimagining of this vehicle. The first generation Acadia was one of GM's bread and butter SUVs. It sold very well, and its near twin, the Chevy Traverse, was for several years a Consumer Reports top pick. That's how good the first generation of this car was. However, that car was quite a bit larger than the typical midsize SUV, so General Motors shrunk it. Now, when I say they shrunk the Acadia, I don't mean a little bit, I mean a lot. The new Acadia is seven inches shorter and three inches narrower. One of the effects of that is that they got 700 pounds of weight out of this car. That is incredible, but that came with a price. The previous Acadia, it felt like a minivan inside. It was very large, very spacious. This one, well, it feels quite a bit smaller, much more like a typical mid-sized SUV. The Acadia has a well-finished interior and plenty of room in the first and second row seats. Now, the third row seat, it used to be plenty roomy for adults, but in this revised Acadia, you're gonna wanna limit them being back there to short trips only. A clever new feature helps with child safety. If when you initially get into the car for your trip, you open the rear door first to load your child, and then you get into the front door, when your trip is finished, the car will ask you to remind you to make sure that there's no one left in the back seat. This is a clever feature. Lighter weight lets you get by with smaller engines. The base engine is a 2.5 liter four cylinder with a 3.6 liter V6 as an option. Now another casualty of the Acadia's downsizing is towing capacity. It used to be able to tow approximately 5,200 pounds. Now it will max out at 4,000. One of the hallmarks of the previous Acadia was despite its balk, it always drove really well, a lot like a normal car. We'll find out how this new Acadia stacks up in an extremely hot segment against big selling competitors like the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander. For more on SUVs, check out ConsumerReports.org.